a short discussion on how the composition of magma affects its viscosity. So everyone, let's start now with our discussion on the composition of magma affects its viscosity. When we say magma, it refers to the molten or hot liquid rock that is found beneath or below the surface of the earth. Once it is released by the volcano on the surface of the earth, its term now is lava. Magma contains silica, gases, and has its own temperature which affect its viscosity. What is viscosity? Viscosity refers to the quality or state of being viscous or thick. So again, once the magma is released by the volcano on the surface of the earth, its term now is lava. If a volcano releases a thin sheet of lava just like this one, it means that the lava has less silica content that results to having low viscosity which means that the lava can travel a great distance just like this one. So this is our second example. This is opposite to the first example that we have, meaning to say that the lava here has high silica content that is resulting to having high viscosity, meaning to say that the lava is too viscous or thick that it cannot travel a great distance. And so, it tends to break up as it flows. So, as you can see in our third example, the lava forms a columnar plug in the vent. Why is that so? Because the lava has a combination of low amount of gas and high silica content. So, the lava becomes very viscous or thick, so it doesn't flow out at all as it rises. As you can see in our last example, the lava forms a dome. When does a dome shape happen or form? It forms or happens when the lava piles up at a vent due to its high viscosity in which it contains low amount of gas. Bye everyone! I hope that you've learned something from our short discussion on the composition of magma that affects its viscosity. Thank <laughs> you.